What's up guys, my name is Bobo Play. Welcome to another episode of MLB 14, the show KJ Subban's pitching career. And here is our matchup. We are playing against Iowa Cubs and I don't want to waste any of your time, so we skipping all the intro. I want to keep this episode short because we're doing them live and uncut basically. But still, I don't want them to be more than 20 minutes. And yeah, this is our team, they are trying to make something happen on attack, and Derek Dietrich with the home run gives us 3 run lead even before we take the mound, and yes, that's pretty much all the offense. We will be batting in this game, but now we will be pitching. First batter we are facing, we are on a pretty good stretch. This Iowa Cubs, they have a decent record. Uh, basically the same as ours, slightly worse, uh, but we lost uh, I think uh, all the games in this series, so we are facing the sweep, I believe. I'm not completely sure, but yeah, it's something like that. They are winning in the series uh, for sure, and we need to do good. Oh, it's a foul ball. Okay. Owen to count. Now, yeah, high fastball. Maybe he will swing on it. Let's try it. No, it's a painting strike. Painting strike, I don't know what I'm saying. It's a strikeout, we paint the corner, and who, who is this bearded man? Lars Anderson. Okay, okay. Fastball. Maybe we will be relying on the fastball in this game. Uh, no. Looks like this umpire does not really like to call low strike. Oh, it's too early to tell. This was too low. Oh, we're falling down. Yeah, let's try something high. Whoa, whoa, 99. Great strike, we missed our spot, but we still managed to hit the strike zone. Let's see what he will do if we will throw him a curveball right down the middle. No, it was low, and he did not swing. Okay, 3 and 1, we need a strike. Oh, he swings on it, and no, 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 it's a foul ball. Or Oh, beautiful play by the right fielder. I don't know why first baseman was not going for this ball, so he couldn't know that this is right fielder's ball. He should go. And this is Javier Baez, and I don't know if you guys know that, but he is like this huge, uh, huge second base prospect or shortstop as well for Chicago Cubs. He is like amazing, and he will be and will be ready soon. And I am kind of excited to see them. My Mets, they don't really play Cubs that often, but yeah, they, they played them uh, right now, I think. I'm a little bit behind on my games. I watch all the games. Whoa! Oh man, you need to learn how to, you know, not to swing on the pitches so much outside. Yeah, looks like he's still a work in progress. So yeah, maybe maybe they, they even called him up already in real life. I don't know. We will see. I watch all the Mets games, but I'm a little behind. Oh, nice contact, but it will be a fly ball, I'm pretty sure. Yes. A routine fly ball, and the first inning is over. Uh, let's go. Oh, oh, we have a runner on first, and we are betting. Okay, okay. KJ Subban is not doing so well in the... Um, in the AAA. We were a good hitter in the AA. Look how small our plate coverage indicator is. It's it's so small, I, I don't even know. Uh, this guy throws a two-seamer, and my strategy is to wait on the two-seamer high in the zone, because two-seamer is kind of a going down, so it, won't, it will not be too high. You can just cover the upper part of uh, strike zone, and you would probably get to the bone. And even with the zero hitting stats we pretty much can get a hit other than that yeah you see he cannot throw a strike so we're just waiting we're not being aggressive or anything he likes his circle change no no he's throwing something else oh nice curveball okay two and two so i guess we need to protect the middle of the plate now i don't know oh no Whoa, nice contact and no, 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 everybody can get a double play. Yeah, we could not contribute offensively. Well, that's not such a big deal. We are paid to pitch. This looks like a dangerous hitter. 350 and he's a big, big guy. He probably is a power threat as well. Okay. 
Yeah, good knowledge of a strike zone so far. KJ Subban, I don't know if you noticed, he's rocking his slightly bigger beard right now. No, we are falling behind in the count. Yeah, this one, but I think he was just taking it. He was thinking that, well, pitcher is struggling to find a strike zone, I might as well take a pitch. This one he is not taking, but yeah, it should stay in the park. I think so, yes, yes, it's a fly ball. He could not square it up. Okay. This guy, yeah, nothing too special. Okay. I want to work fast. First of all, because, well, it's KJ style, and second reason is that I want this episode to, you know, be still pretty short. I want to cut down on all the intros and outros and all that stuff. Just the gameplay. Whoa, nice strike. It's still, it's the, the hardest thing to do, uh, pitching in this game, in my opinion, is to throw a high fastball for a strike. It's just, for some reason, even if you are very precise with uh, your uh, pitch, it still goes up uh, most of the times. You see, here it wasn't going up, but it, it rarely happens. Still one and two, yeah, I, I think secondary stuff. He probably will chase this ladder, he needs to protect... Oh, this is a bad ladder, but he still chases it. Oh, he helped us a lot. Slider as a strikeout pitch is very effective because, well, hitter on the two strikes he needs uh, to protect the strike zone, so he will be swinging on everything that is in, uh, in his opinion, going into the strike zone. So if slider starts in the middle of the plate, he is going for it, but then uh, it kind of tails off and it's hard to make contact. That's pretty much the whole concept, and that's why all the good pitchers ha need to have great uh, secondary pitch curveball or slider or something like that. Because, well, they need to... Oh, another home run by Dietrich. Yeah, Dietrich has a game. And, yeah, we're out for the third. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys stats of this hitter, but judging by a blue strike zone, he's not an excellent hitter. He does not have any hot spots. Or maybe we just don't know about them. I don't know how it works in this game. Whoa, this looks like a good contact and... No... Oh no... And the ball is out routinely. So... Oh man... And... Well, we are not falling behind. We still have 3 run lead, but... Ooh... It's so frustrating, you think that you're cruising, that you're getting everybody out, but then somebody's squaring your ball and just, you know, hitting it out of the park. But we need to... Whoa, another good contact, but it's a foul ball. Yeah, we need to be de we need to be careful. Maybe expand our strike zone a little bit. Oh, yeah, like that, but we still hit the strike zone, I think. Yeah, this, like this, like this, this ball will be outside, the only purpose of it, to make him swing. Yeah, he fouls it, but still. Okay. Now Fessel, the same spot, and he fouls it also, and is it a fair ball? I don't know. Looks like, I don't know. Oh, yes, it was a fair ball. I think catcher, it was going foul, but catcher uh, was able to touch it in the... Look at the average of this hitter, 308. What kind of pitcher you are? <laughs> yeah. He's not swinging on that one. No. Too much to the outside. So yeah, what I was saying, when a ball is hit right in front of the batter, and if it can go foul, uh, catcher need to touch the ball while it's fair. He ma might even not pick it up, but he need to touch it. And after that, it's a live ball. And then, even if it throws out foul, he can pick it up and throw out or tag out the batter. That's the rules. So it looks like our catcher was able to do that. Oh, nice looking strike. Yeah, it was an ugly swing. And yeah, I think we have two men out in the third. Yeah, two men out. Well, one run. 
Nice looking slider. Hey, curveball. I like using my secondary stuff. Oh, it could have been called strike, but we crossed up our catcher. He was positioned outside and we th threw inside, so it wasn't... Yeah, this one. This one, we just... We put it right where we needed to, and umpire knows that. Yeah, this one, we just need him to swing. No. Yeah, I think we should try another curveball. Ho ho ho! Yeah, it was a wrong location, but it still hit the strike zone, obviously. Okay. Oh, we have two runners. A runner in scoring position, and we are betting again. And I will still be sitting on this uh, two-seam fastball up in the zone, because, well, he has to throw me one. And also, while he's not throwing this fastball, he's throwing his secondary stuff, and it's... Uh, oh, you see? Oh, I haven't timed it right. Oh man, it was ugly. It was the perfect pitch. It was the pitch that I was waiting for. Maybe it's the only pitch the whole game that I will get. Or maybe not. Oh, too late. Yeah, I cannot time it. I play my own road to the show with the shortstop on the side, not for the YouTube. And whoa, yeah, that looks good, but it will be a fly ball. Oh, we haven't. Oh, he was sending on the warning track. We haven't missed home run for uh, for a lot. It would have been huge home run. Great. You see? Oh, I guess KJ was showing it. Yeah, so much, so little we missed it. But still we did. Okay, Lars Anderson, this bearded man. Let's see what what else we can do to you. Ah, oh, a little bit inside. Yeah, pitch count wise we are looking pretty good oh you see it was kind of perfect but it went up so much yeah we're rolling oh too low and we are falling down 3-0 yeah i might as well challenge him i don't know if he's a good hitter but yeah right on the middle that's usually what uh pitchers do when they fall down 3-0 well, unless it's a dangerous hitter. They just challenge him. They just throw as hard as they can, pretty much in the middle of the strike zone, and they kind of saying, oh, it will be a strike for sure, so you need to you need to swing it. You need to show me your, good, your, your, best, your best hit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I always like those full counts or uh, three ball counts. You see why is that rising? It was and the, yeah, it's it's a walk. Our first walk. KJ, KJ is not really walking many people, but sometimes he does. Hmm. Too much inside. Slider maybe. Oh, that's kind of perfect. Slider to the outside. Yeah, it's two strikes. He should swing on it. No, no, no. He has a good eye. It's a great advantage if you can read the pitch before you need to make a decision to swing or not. Oh, and it's a base hit. It sneaked under the first baseman's glove and everybody's safe. Oh, man. Oh, oh it was this uh, base. And this is the dangerous guy. We, he flied out, but... He looked like a serious hitter. Let's see. We really could use a strikeout. No, he swings and it's a foul ball. Yeah, he's in aggressive mode. I can feel it. Solar. I don't know who he is, but he's ready to swing. I can tell it to you right now. Oh, too much inside. But it works fine. You see, he's, he's chirping. He's saying something to us. Oh, nice looking curve, but... What will it be? Will it stay in the park? Yes, it does. And the uh, runner tags up, and no, we cannot throw him out. He advances to third. So it's a little bit dangerous. I don't really want to give up another run. And to do that, I really need a strikeout or a double play. Let's. Oh, dangerous strike call. 
Thank you, umpire. Yeah, if you want a uh, double play, you need a ground ball. To to get a ground ball, you need to keep your ball down. That's what I'm gonna do. I will not be throwing high strike to him. Even my curve will, curve will be low, and it's looking beautiful. Yeah, another curve. I don't think that he can really. If he can foul it, but he cannot really elevate this ball. Yeah, even more down to the outside, and he fouls it off. It's a dangerous situation. If you throw, you know, this breaking ball and uh, hitter for several times, and uh, hitter cannot uh, can foul it. Yeah, you cannot throw it too many times in a row because uh, sooner or later he will adjust to it. And he will be able to hit it. You see, like that. And yeah, this is probably. Please get to it. No, he cannot get to it. And I think two runs will score. No, 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 one run. One run, but. Oh. Yeah, this is the pitching coach. Actually, it's the usual coach, not the pitching coach, or they look alike, I don't know. Yeah, he's saying us something, yeah, whatever. Christian Villanueva, I think he played for the Cubs, I'm not sure, but his name is sound, sounds familiar. Oh, our pitch count is starting to look pretty bad. We are in 63 pitches and only one out in the fourth. And, oh, it's a foul ball. <laughs> Oh, we had two runs written all over it if it went fair. He elevates it and it's a yeah, it's a great job. Can uh, first baseman? Yes, yes, he can, and it's a really great job. Now it's two outs, so we just need to get this guy out any way possible. But this is the guy who hit a home run against us, so we need to be careful. Oh, nice looking uh, ball, but it went up. Yeah, low fastball. Try hit this out of the park. It would be funny if he actually did it. Slider. Okay. And he fouls everything up. Valaika. That's, I think it's. Polish or Czech last name, I don't know. Oh, what will it be? Oh, great job, great job, first baseman. He could uh, get under this ball, and yeah, we allow one more run, but we managed to escape big troubles. And yeah, looks like our team has something going offensively. Well, they had at least. And we are out for inning number five. Swings on the first pitch. Yeah, we have some energy. We can go, I think, six or seven in this game. Whoa, another bad pitch, and I don't like this animation. What would <laughs> another home run? Oh man. Those triple A hitters, some of them are really dangerous. Pinch hitter? Oh, well. We outlasted our opponent at least. Well, not actually. He had uh, five full innings and we still have three outs to go. Oh man, home run ball have never been a problem for KJ really, but I guess he haven't mm, faced uh, really dangerous powerful hitters. Thank you, good out. Let's move on. Jackson. Oh, too much inside. I can't remember if I hit a batter in this uh, series. I think I had once. Oh, nice looking strike. This is a pitcher's pitch. Nobody can do anything with a pitch like that. Yeah, you can swing on it, but you probably will look like a fool. Oh, you see, it rises. I don't know why is that uh, happening sometimes. Okay, foul ball. <laughs> I like ball boys in this game. They are so precise. Oh, nice looking curve. And it's a base hit. That hit. Oh. 
Yeah, we walked Lars Anderson previous time. No, oh, something with about this bearded man. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice looking strike. Yeah, let's challenge him again. The same spot. Oh, wrong spot, but we get him to two strikes. Yeah, low, let's try low fastball. Oh, and he swings right through it. He could not catch up to 96 fastball. I think it's not so common in AAA. Not uh, that many uh, flamethrowers down there. Javier Baez, yeah, he made some damage today. Yeah, nice looking strike. Oh, I really want to go out for the sixth, but I'm not sure that manager will allow it. Oh, and he and it's another base hit. Oh man! <sighs> well, at least give me finish five. I have so you know so yes yes. Oh, and this is Solar, who is looking like the best hitter of there but we got him out two times this looks like a strike to me to be honest oh it must hurt right in the cup or catcher oh no 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 it's bad it's a wild pitch and runners advance I probably should cover the home plate Okay. Still, we just need to get this runner out. And now he is down to the two strikes. Oh yeah, KJ is getting tired. Whoa. Oh man, umpire, you should give us this call. It was a strike. Slider? Yeah, that's, that's maybe a good idea. Oh, and he squares it up. Please stay in the park, please, please. Oh, good job. And we get out of the big trouble. We allowed one more run, but at least we're holding on. And let's see if we can... No, we only got five and... Oh, uh, fourth game. We kind of... It's maybe our worst start, but we are kind of... Uh, on a long, uh, well, on the long side, we have a win on the line. We need, just need our team to hold on, and oh, please, yes, 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 we get out of some trouble. Yeah, I kind of want to skip it, but other, also, I want to watch it. So we will be watching it for now. Yeah. Our bullpen is looking good. This is the ninth inning. We can get some insurance, maybe. No, we can't. But yeah, Nick to Whitgren. One out, two outs. Oh no. <laughs> two outs in the ninth, and they tie the game. <gasps> and we go to the tenth. Please, can we win it there? It will not be our win. Man, <laughs> so close. We got robbed out of the win. Oh, it's not looking good. And yes, yes, it's a walk-off win for them. And we end up with no decision. Not our best start. And But coach is unhappy. I don't know why is that. Our coach is a little bit crazy, you know. See, you know, you, it's not like you talk with your... Oh, we just don't have a good relationship with our coach looks like. This is our line for today. Five innings, six hits, three earned runs, five strikeouts. Our ERA is increasing from start to start, but it's still pretty respectable. It's 1.8. We would be the leaders, but we don't have enough stars. And uh, as usual, this is the part of the... Whoa, 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 whoa. I... Stop. Uh, stop simulating. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we will not be doing this right now. Here is our start. We will be starting against Omaha. Once again, we have a four-game series against them. And now we have some training session available. 
and yeah so i think that this is where we will end this episode i hope you guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys like this new way leave a like if you do uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new follow me on twitter and i will see you in the next episode thanks for watching